Good morning everyone, Angela here with Ella Kate Designs and I'm back to share some new journals with you guys. Uh, before I get into these though, I wanted to mention, <laughs> uh, so I had done the drawing for the giveaway while we were on the road. We had to drive out of state for some last minute family stuff. So I had to close my Etsy shop and and we <laughs> had to do some things on the fly, like <laughs> doing the uh, the drawing for the, the giveaway. And the winner for that was uh, Stephanie with Shepherd's Creations, which I still have not received any word from, email, or anything uh, like that. So, Stephanie, if you're watching this, you are the winner. Uh, email me at ellicatedesigns at gmail.com. Or if you know Stephanie, you might want to give her a, a heads up that she's the winner. Um, I'll wait quite a bit longer to wait and see if I hear from her. Uh, I will set a you know a deadline, and I'll probably put, put that up in like the next video. If I don't hear from her by then, then I'll just do a redraw for the fairy journal. Anyways, uh, so. <laughs> I have these two new journals that are up on my Etsy shop and they're not quite fall. They have a little bit of a fall theme to them. They're more botanical, but there is one, one paper in here that I use that does have pumpkins on it. So this to me is the inspiration was the time of year that we're in right now in Michigan, where it's the very beginning stages of fall, where you still have a lot of green and growth, but you're starting to see the leaves first start to change. And like we have two maple trees in our yard that have already half of them have changed and, and are starting to dump their, their leaves on the lawn. So... That was kind of the inspiration for these two journals. They are very similar. The main difference is one of them has the big pocket in the back. And the other one has it in the front. And then there are some subtle differences throughout. And these are A5 Traveler's Notebook insert size. They're a titch bigger on the, the cover but I don't think it would be, be a problem. They can also just be used as journals by themselves. So we'll do a quick flip. They are fabric covered. The outside is like an upholstery tapestry type in this beautiful green. And then the inside is this beautiful plum rose fabric. And I've got tags throughout and a couple of these writing pages that are you know, folded up like cutesy little envelopes. Some Edith Holden. And this here is a envelope that's been kind of torn and aged and then I just embellished it a little bit with some some ruffle and a flower and vintage button there this is a printable from ephemera's vintage garden it's the vintage queen bee set uh, I have flower clips throughout my usual fabric ruffles and the assortment of pages, both coffee stained and not. I've got a large tag over here and this is another little envelope that's just kind of been embellished with some stamping and some washi tape and a flower. Uh, so this comes from larger sheets from uh, da, 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 my porch prints. They are absolutely gorgeous. 
And then over here I have the journal jewelry clip with a floating pocket. And this has been made out of uh, vintage wallpaper. They're like the, the border rolls. It's absolutely gorgeous. And inside I just have a couple of tags and one of the little things to do notes. I put those in this journal because I absolutely love using them in my personal journal. So they come in very handy. Another Femmer's Vintage Garden. Some more ruffles. So this is the pumpkins I was talking about. Some more tags and another one of those envelope sheets. This is another floating pocket. Uh, this I got the idea for from Yvonne Preston. Crafty White Preston. Can't remember the order of her names. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she had done a video a couple weeks ago about these pockets and you can glue them down to make, you know, another pocket behind it. But I wanted to leave mine floating because the images are absolutely beautiful on them. And it's the same kit from my porch prints that I just printed onto this lavender color copy paper I had. And then I made some tags out of cream cardstock. So you can kind of see the difference, how it prints out. Uh, it's really, really beautiful. I'm completely obsessed with <laughs> this kit. Vintage book pages from a botanical book. And these, the pages are like so creamy and soft. Oops, got a little, a little, little bent there. This is just a piece of ledger that I had coffee stained and it was one of the newer like it's still like an old book but it's one of the newer ones I think that the the ink runs so it kind of has that watercolor effect and then just some tags I wanted to make sure that everything I added could still be used for journaling to add extra space for journaling instead of take away space for journaling so this is just a giant tag here I did some stamping just has some sorry silk on the top here one of the flower clips and I have a to-do note tucked behind there so you can use that move it however you need it Another one of those that I've just washi taped on. This is a side pocket here. And <laughs> this one's been washi taped on as well. I've just been noticing in my own personal journaling, I've been using these a ton. And I like when they're washi taped on because you can still kind of move them where you need them. A uh, giant jumbo index card that I've just put some ruffles on and then another to-do list clipped on and the recipe pages I tried to find ones that were more like fall themed so this is fresh apple pecan cake and saucy apple cake another one of the floating pockets here and it has a card inside and then a page from a book on trees and leaves Let's see if I can get back get that back in there now it's a struggle of course because I'm on camera Alrighty, so this pocket is just some more tags, another journaling sheet, and this is just a 
cute little vintage index card that I've sewn on and did a little fabric cluster there and some washi tape. So you can do some extra journaling and such on there as well. Here's the other side of that paper with the pumpkins. So really that's the only fall, fall imagery in this. Uh, the rest is just kind of botanical. Another one of these pages here, another jumbo tag, and another index card with some ruffles clipped on with one of the flower clips. Lots of ruffle here. And this one has little bits of some glitter like just these little tiny sporadic spots. And the big tag that's in the back here has the journaling page with some ledger, the lavender copy paper, a couple of tags, and another one of the jumbo, jumbo tags. So that is that one there. The other one we'll just do a quick flip of because it's very, very similar. The book pages and some of the tags are gonna be different. The journal jewelry is a bit different they're still in the green tones but the big pocket is in the front instead of the back so that's the main difference between the two uh, the Edith Holden pages are gonna be you know different but a lot of the the regular pages and Sorry silks that I've used are all going to be very similar, the same. So I think the digital designers that I used in here were Ephemer's Vintage Garden and my portrait. And I believe that's it. I'll mention anything else if it pops up at me. But I want to say. So this one, the recipes, I've got carrot cake, fruit cake, applesauce fruit cake. Waldorf Astoria cake and white fruit cake. Wildflowers. So there's lots of sewing, lots of strings. Uh, the never ending strings, especially with the sari silk. So same basic tags and inserts. All that jazz. So I hope everyone is doing well uh, now that we are back from being out of state. I have added these along with some new bundles to the Etsy shop. I will be adding even more throughout the week. I'm also starting on my Christmas journals because I am so super behind schedule on those. Let 
but I also wanted to take a moment to yet again thank Gail. Oh, I'm going to try and say your last name and I'll probably butcher it. Augustinelli. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I had to like stare at it uh, and I don't have it in front of me. So it's kind of taking a shot in the dark. Um, so yes, Gail and then Elizabeth, who is Mrs. Coggs. The two of you are such sweet, sweet, wonderful ladies. And I just cannot thank you enough for your videos and shout outs and support. Um, so I thank you both so very much from the bottom of my heart. And uh, Amelia, girlfriend, lady, you know, <laughs> I can never thank you enough either. You are the biggest sweetheart and I am so grateful that you are my friend. <laughs> So to all of you new subscribers and old subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I am now over a thousand subscribers, so I will be putting together a, another giveaway. I wanna get this first one taken care of and sent out to the recipient if she will ever contact me <laughs> before I do another giveaway, but this, this first giveaway was just kind of a on the whim, let's have fun. This next giveaway though, I will be doing internationally and it will be a little bit different because I do wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers. And also uh, all of the new items I have added to my shop are able to ship to Canada now I'm in the process of shipping over all of my previous listings uh, to ship to Canada as well. Uh, it's I have to do each individual item and their packaging and their weight and it just takes a hot minute. So I'm working on that. But all the new items that have been listed can ship to Canada. There's gonna be an additional shipping charge with Etsy However, because I've already included some of the shipping price into the price of the item for domestic shipping within the U.S., any shipping overages will be refunded to you. Uh, I've been hesitant to ship international for a number of reasons, and so we're going to try with Canada first, see how that goes. Um, my understanding is they don't have um, extra fees and custom fees for coming into the U.S. I know some, some countries the, the customer would have to pay additional fees. So anyways, it's going to take more research and, and whatnot. But Canada is, is now I can ship to you guys for the new items and I'm working on the previous listed items this week too. So anyhow, that was a long winded yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Anyways, again, thank you guys so, so much. Have a great, great day, great week. And hopefully I'll be back here in a couple of days with something new for you. All right. Lots of love. Bye.